first and foremost, I wanted to say I really, really, uh, really enjoy and appreciate doing a lot of these events uh, with CoinGeek and the BSV community. Uh, we've developed, uh, you know, as a team and as a company, we've developed a lot of, I guess, friends and kind of pseudo family at these events and also online. And uh, I just want to say thank you. We've had a tremendous amount of support. Um, and involvement and excitement from everybody. So much so that some of the stuff that we were going to launch today, we've discovered some, some bugs in the last uh, couple of hours. So uh, thank you for that, guys, online. I really appreciate it. You've knocked my stuff offline. Um, but in a good way. So I'm going to start off today by talking about the whole, you know, kind of the are you ready, yes ready, now is the time uh, sort of thing. So we've been talking about some pretty amazing things over the last year or two years, uh, especially within the BSV community. But also, in terms of the larger industry, we've been very much a, kind of a stealth mode uh, sort of company and team for a lot, of, a lot of reasons, mostly because we're awesome and we're doing some super secret stuff that we don't want anybody else to know about. Um, so to kind of lead off, uh, as I'm sure you guys have all heard the term metaverse probably 50 times today and 500 times yesterday and I'm sure much more tomorrow, I'm just waiting for you know, a metaverse tea company, a metaverse stamp company, a metaverse car company. It's become the, the term du jour. Um, but just like blockchain in the early days, do you guys remember that tea company that was like blockchain tea and they suddenly kind of went through the roof? I feel like that's kind of happening with Metaverse now. Um, but while a lot of people are glomming onto it, uh, it's okay. It's a lot of noise, not a lot of signal. But fortunately for, for me, and obviously for the BSV community, we've got like the best sort of Metaverse plan approach and uh, technology. One of the things that sets us apart, first and foremost, is we're not doing another social VR sort of platform. We're literally trying to build something that's amazing and integrated, that's both AR and VR together with IoT, with blockchain, and all these other sort of pieces. But it's, it's joined at the hip with location. Location and the real world are the two pieces that most every other metaverse venture are missing completely. They tend to be AR or VR or some combination, but there's not a lot of direct um, you know, link back to the real world. And that's what we do. We are effectively the bridge between the real and the virtual. Because the real world and location gives you context and gives you relevance and makes those experience much more useful and interesting uh, and certainly more valuable. So one of the cool things that we're doing is our virtual real estate platform. You'll be able to basically you know, buy domains or buy locations like domain names. They're generally good for two years, but we're not starting the clock until June. So there's a lot of, lot of room in here uh, to kind of play around and get used to the system. Um, and then, of course, we're working on some amazing digital twin stuff, which is, gets back to this idea of linking the real world to the virtual world together. So you'll be able to basically go create an avatar and visit other cities and other locations and places around the world, which is kind of cool. You know, other people kind of do this sort of thing. But what's amazing about our platform is you'll be able to interact with people that are on site, on location, seeing you as a hologram in their mobile AR app. So we're literally trying to cross that bridge and that divide which makes a whole lot of other interesting experiences uh, certainly possible. And of course, uh, we've been very lucky. We've got uh, a hold of a really awesome patent, uh, which basically lets us link any kind of 3D object uh, in a virtual space to any real world thing. So whether it's a 3D pair of Nikes I pick up in a game and put on my avatar that I could then go to the store in exchange for a real pair of Nikes, or vice versa, I buy a real pair and now I've got a copy for my Fortnite character. That's basically where we think uh, e-commerce is going in the future. And we've got a fancy patent on it, and it's inside of the BSV community. It's not on all the other places. So good luck, everybody else. This is, why, <laughs> this is one of the reasons why BSV is ultimately going to win. Again, fast, scalable, inexpensive, and it's got us. Uh, th thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, also uh, very fun and exciting stuff. Tomorrow at our particular booth, we're going to have a really wicked awesome 3D body scanner. So come by, we're going to scan you. It's going to be photorealistic, one-to-one -one scale, and it outputs a rigged avatar that we can animate crazy. But we're going to tokenize it, and then in a few days, you'll be able to see yourself in AR on the Omniscape app, which is going to do all kinds of other fun things. Um, but we're basically branding this as the Meta Nation, which is uh, what we want to be the, the community uh, for, for Omniscape and kind of our version of the Metaverse. And we're going to do some really cool, fun marketing and viral stuff with this as a, kind of a theme uh, very soon. I'm really, I'm kind of giddy about it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, yep, so this is what tomorrow is going to be like. Um, our, our scanner arrived this morning about uh, 
uh, I think maybe four hours ago, so we haven't had a chance to put it together yet. But it will be at our booth tomorrow. Please come by. It's going to be super cool. All your friends will be jealous, and everybody online is really going to hate you for being here. What's that? Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be cool. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, it just says do it now, but this really means do it tomorrow. Um, Earth1.omniscape.com is where all of the virtual real estate stuff is. And also keep in mind that this is, so we're basically rolling out our metaverse and our platform in stages. Some of it is, is really simple, some of it is really fun, but as we're, we're basically laying the groundwork for some of the more advanced things, um, so we can't, can't do it all at once. Also for MetaPets, um, these will be launching fairly soon, but in the meantime, just like we did with the alien and uh, the dragon and other things at the last conference, um, we have, have some new things uh, going on this time. One of the coolest parts is with the little unicorn guy, you can actually paint him in app and make a custom texture, which is then gonna be tokenized, it's an NFT, and you'll be able to sell that to somebody else. We have our marketplace going that they can then apply to their uh, unicorn or some other character and change, change its texture. So this is, I guess, is the first real-time dynamic uh, make an NFT while you're doing it sort of thing. Um, I don't know, there's some cool phrasing in there, I'll find it. But yeah, have fun, make some funny looking uh, um, unicorns and share them online. It's gonna be very cool. And then of course, ultimately, you know, we are literally trying to connect everything everywhere and do it on chain uh, and basically you know, put the world there, which again is kind of the foundation for what we believe the metaverse is. It's really about who you are, where you are, and what's around you. So yeah, big vision, it's all gonna be on chain. Uh, we're starting to roll things out now, so you'll still hear us talk about coming soon, but also there's things that were, were like live right this minute. Um, this is one of my favorite graphics. So if you search for us, it's Omniscape XR. It's available for the Apple and Google, and you're gonna need them both for, for all the cool stuff that we're showing off uh, today and tomorrow and the day after. Data is double-edged. Wield it well and build your place in tomorrow. But trust it blindly and risk watching your progress crumble. Because much of the data we rely upon isn't reliable at all. At Enchain, we believe in data, but we put no faith in it. Instead, we build tools that enable enterprises to trust the data upon which they rely. Enchain, data without question.